Welcome to the Overlook Motel, a place where underseen and unappreciated films are given their moment in the spotlight. This week, I'm looking back on Brian Taylor's horror comedy, Mom and Dad. This delightfully dark effort is brutal, outrageous, and frequently hilarious. Saws. Oh. Mom and Dad sees a mysterious broadcast signal hit the airwaves that alters the brain chemistry of parents around the world. No child is safe because the urge to protect has inexplicably been replaced with the urge to kill by any means necessary. Part of what makes Mom and Dad so effective is the way that it initially paints this very typical portrait of suburban life. On the surface, primary characters Brett and Kendall seem to have it all together with their nuclear family and two-story single-family home. Like anyone, they have their fair share of problems, but they are nonetheless fairly ordinary, and that is demonstrated in painstaking detail throughout the first act. That setup serves as a brilliant contrast to the violent transition both Kendall and Brett ultimately undergo. I've not fathered any children, but I have long suspected a lot of parents harbor certain resentments that they don't even dare fully admit to themselves. So, the way mom and dad tackles that notion head on is more than just funny. It's an over the top representation of what I believe a lot of parents probably feel deep down. I don't mean that those of us that have procreated secretly want to kill our offspring, of course. But I do imagine that many a mother and father feel a certain sense of frustration and resentment towards their brood for any number of reasons, and I can't blame them. It would be almost unnatural not to feel that on occasion. The way the film handles that idea translates to hilarity, but the kernel of truth also serves to make the proceedings undeniably comical. As things go off the rails and deep-seated resentments come to the surface, Nick Cage is given the freedom to go full-on Nick Cage. Brian Taylor's script and direction cater to the Oscar-winning actor's skill set and allow him to chew scenery and get completely unhinged, but unlike some of the iconic actor's lesser efforts, that reaction fits the narrative perfectly and the film is better for it. It seems that Cage does his best work when collaborating with a director that knows when to restrain him and when to let him go completely off the rails. In fact, in a 2018 interview, the thespian actually referenced Mom and Dad as his favorite movie he's made in 10 years. And if you've seen the film, it's easy to see why. Taylor does a brilliant job of playing to Cage's strengths and giving him room to do his thing. Mom and Dad received a certain amount of critical acclaim upon its release, even winning the jury prize at the Mullins Film Festival in 2017. Yet it still remains somewhat underseen by the masses, and that's a real shame seeing as Mom and Dad is one of the most colorful horror comedies of recent years, managing to be equal parts funny, visceral, and bold. So, if you've passed this one over and are keen to check it out, the film is streaming via Stars as of the publication of this post. Additional watch options include DVD, Blu-ray, or digital rental. Lastly, if you're a fan of underseen horror cinema and are keen to chat more, you can find me on Twitter at FunWithHorror. That's all for this week. Thank you so much for checking into the Overlook Motel. We'll see you next time.